This is part 24 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss functions in JavaScript. What's a function? A function is a block of reusable code. A function allows us to write code once and use it as many times as we want just by calling the function. Here, we have the syntax for JavaScript function. In JavaScript, a function is declared using the function keyword. Followed by that, we'll have the name of the function and followed by that, we will have parentheses. Within parentheses, we specify the function parameters. Function parameters are optional. If we have multiple parameters, then we separate them with a comma. Now let's look at an example. We want to write a JavaScript function that's going to take two numbers as parameters, add them together, and return their sum. So in JavaScript, we declare a function using the function keyword. Followed by that, we will have the name of the function. And then within parentheses, we specify the parameters. So we want to have two parameters, first number and second number. And then we will have curly braces. And within curly braces, we specify the body of the function, that is the statements that we want to execute as part of this function call. So we want to add these two numbers together. So let's create a variable to hold the sum and add the numbers together. And then finally, we want to return the sum. So now we have a simple JavaScript function that's taking two numbers as parameters, adding them together, and returning their sum. Now let's see how to call this JavaScript function. To call the JavaScript function, simply specify the name of the function, and then within parentheses, specify the values for the parameters. So we have two parameters here, so we need to pass two values, 10 for the first parameter and 20 for the second parameter. So this function is going to add those two numbers, return the sum. So let's create a variable here to hold that sum. Let's name it result. And then let's write the value that is present in that variable to the web page. So now when we run this, as you might expect, we should get 30 as the result. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we do not specify values for the function parameters when calling the function. The parameters that are missing values are set to undefined. Let's understand this. So here at the moment, this function has got two parameters, first number and second number. Now, let's remove the value for the second parameter. So at the moment, we are only passing value for the first parameter, but not for the second parameter. So now, when this function is called, first number will be initialized to 10, but second number will be set to undefined, because we are not passing value for that. So when we run this, we will get NAN as the result. So what is this NAN? NAN stands for not a number. So why is that? Second number is set to undefined, and then first number is set to 10. 10 plus undefined, that results to not a number. So within some variable, we'll have not a number, and that's what is returned, and that's what will be stored in this result variable, and finally we are writing that to the document object. If you actually put this program in debug mode, you will actually notice that you know second number will be set to undefined. Notice that when I hover the mouse over, second number is set to undefined, and if you look at first number, that is 10. Now, sum at the moment will be undefined. When we press F10, notice that within sum, we get NAN, not a number. And finally, we are writing that value to the web page. Now, what happens when we specify too many parameter values when calling the function? So at the moment, we have two parameters, but if I pass three or more parameter values, then what is going to happen? JavaScript is simply going to ignore the additional parameter values. In this case, first number will be set to 10, second number will be set to 20, so the result will be 30. The additional parameter values, that is, 30 and 40 will be ignored. Should a JavaScript function always return a value? No, they don't have to.
It totally depends on what we want the function to do. If an explicit return statement is omitted, undefined is returned automatically from the function. So let's understand this with an example. So if you look at the function that we have here, at the moment, this function is returning the sum of these two numbers. And we are storing that sum in this result variable and writing that to the document. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we don't have this return statement? For example, let's say we want this function to add two numbers together and we want this function itself to write that sum to the web page. So I'm going to move this document dot write statement inside the function and then we want to write the value that is present in the sum variable to the document. So if you look at this function, we don't have an explicit return statement here, right? But here, what we are doing is we are calling that function and we are assigning the return value of that function to this variable. But if you look at this function, it doesn't have um, any explicit return statement, meaning it's not explicitly returning anything. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we actually alert the value that is present in that result variable. Now, if an explicit return statement is missing, then by default, this function will return undefined, and that's what will be alerted. Let's look at that in action. So when I run this, notice that it writes the value 30 to the document, and within the alert, we get undefined. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.